Uh, Ashley, who told you the news you released to me? When did it happen? And then how did you tell the folks? Uh, it, was, it was two days ago at training. Uh, Darren Lehman and Rod Marsh came up to me and uh, basically just said to me, you're in. Was it on the field? Yeah, on the field as I was coming out of the nets. Um, and they said, go and, go and call your parents because you're playing. What were you thinking? I was wrapped over the moon. It was, it was the, probably the best news I've ever received in my life. So, very happy. Did you expect it? Uh, no, no, it was, it was unexpected. I'd been told like it, it, it was always a possibility. Um, and I'd, I'd kept it as a possibility in my head, but I wasn't getting my hopes too high. You fast forward to today and getting the bag and brain, tell us what that was like. It was, it was a dream come true. Um, yeah, it's, it's everything I've wanted um, from a cricketing point of view. Um, the coach, sorry, the coach thought it might be in the eye. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll be honest, yeah, there was. There definitely was, and my, my family were out there, um, and it's a great bunch of blokes, and to have Glenn McGrath present it to me uh, made it, you know, that, that um, bit more special, so it, it was a little bit emotional, it was, it was fantastic. Have you looked at your phone, seeing messages from your mates in Australia? Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of support coming from back home, I've got some really, really good friends, so, and they've all said that they're very proud of me, so it's nice to know I've got them cheering for me back home. Um, Ashley, have you found this year difficult in terms of how much you, I suppose, had to take in from your first class debut to going to India and coming here and now the Ashley's debut? How have you handled that quickly it's all happened? No, it definitely hasn't been difficult. It's been, it's been great. I've, I've learned so much um, and it's what I want to do. So um, the fact that it's happened so quickly has is, is just made it that, that much better. Yeah. Right. Ashley, what, what is it? that you think you bring to the side that they've been looking for in a player like yourself that they've got the chance to? Um, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd like to think I'm, I'm a pretty attacking uh, spin bowler. So is, so is Nathan. Um, I think may, maybe it's because they have uh, a lot of right-handed batsmen um, and with me spinning the ball away um, is a little bit different. But I, I'd like to bring to the side some youthful energy, um, a lot of enthusiasm and you know, I'm just going to give it my 100%. Um, can you just talk through really how it's rolled, um, you know, first one, I'm trying to try to figure how was, mm -hmm. that, yeah, can you just talk us through what it was like just while being out there? It was awesome walking out on, onto the ground uh, for a start. I did a little circle and had a look at the crowd and um, looked over to my family. They were all cheering for me and then, yeah, getting the ball in my hand. I was, I was a little bit nervous, but once my first ball was out of the way, um, everything felt normal. And I just tried to, you know, see the batsman as a, just another bloke with a bat in his hand. Just going back a little bit, actually, it was such a surprise for everyone when you were named, when we saw you get back green. How hard was it to fight your tongue and not let anyone know about this election for two days? Yeah, it, it, was, it was tough. Um, but it, it's what had to be done um, for the team and for the group, and that's that's what you always put first. So, but obviously I could tell my family, um, so that that was fine. They're the ones I wanted to tell, and you know if I if I could tell them, it was perfect. So yeah. When, when you were a kid, sort of dreaming about playing first cricket, did you ever dream where and when it might might happen? Uh, no, I. Anywhere, I was happy with anywhere um, to get a bag of green, but I, I guess I can't say I never thought it would happen um, in an Ashes Test in England, but uh, for that to happen has um, made it that much better. We were, were you a little bit better prepared after the Indian thing too, where you were pretty close to playing there. Yeah, definitely. It, that gave me a better understanding of what it takes to bowl at, at Test level. You know, the better batters, and um, I learnt some learnt a lot of valuable lessons over there, so that definitely helped me in good stead. Yeah. Tell us about um, yourself and what you do when you're not involved with cricket. And what are you, you're studying abroad, you've got kind of interest, you make more lyrics and collect stamps? <laughs> you're into music? And I don't collect stamps. Um, <laughs> no, I, my uni's deferred at the moment, but I'm um, studying law at Murdoch University in Western Australia. Um, 
So it, it's nice not to, not to have to do that at the moment, but it's definitely something I want to tick off. Um, and yeah, I enjoy music and movies and you know everything um, that people my age enjoy. But uh, it's nice to be playing cricket at the moment. What sort of music? What sort of music? Uh, my favourite music would have to be some old school hip hop music, definitely. <laughs> Old school hip hop. Yeah. Four years old. <laughs> Do I have a nickname? Um, Agates. Which is just like a just a random nickname. Um, Ash. Yeah. Um, just regarding your your style as a, as a bowler and even as a as a batsman, mm-hmm. um, it's been said by a few people that you just got a very kind of natural playing style. You don't look overcoached, and it doesn't look like it's yeah too uh, complicated a thing for you. Where do you think that, that comes from? Is it just... uh, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Um, I think it was just it was just one day I just decided to bowl spin bowling in junior cricket and then it, it sort of clicked from there and it's all, it's all just happened. It has There hasn't been too much technical work. Um, I think coaches have been good that way and have just let my action and everything um, take care of itself and it's just more the game sense and game awareness that has been tinkered with and... Um, just experience really so that's been really good I know JL, uh, Justin Langer has been really keen for me to just stay the way I am and just keep bowling he just says just keep bowling, stay loose stay loose, that's that's his advice to me so that's what I've tried to do Can you tell us a bit about your move from um, Victoria over to Western Australia why that happened there? Um, I moved be- because of opportunity um, I wanted to play shield cricket as, as fast as I could and I thought uh, moving to Western Australia where they only really had Michael Beer in the squad as a spinner, uh, where I'd be number two would be best, whereas in Victoria there was, you know, there's John Holland, Glenn Maxwell, um, Cameron White, Dave Hussey bowl a bit, and now Farwad's there, uh, and James Muirhead as well. So there's a lot of spinners there, and I thought it made sense to go to the place with less spinners, and it turns out it's, it's been a really good move. So you can't, I'm sorry, you can't happy to let you go and no, not at all. They've, my parents have supported me all the way throughout um, my short cricketing career so far. Um, you know, and they just said, do what you have to do, do what you think is right, and you know, we'll back you 100%. That's what they did, and I'm very grateful for that. Ashwin, is there any sense of relief that that first innings is kind of out of the way now, and you can really set yourself to do what you do there? Yeah, yeah, there is a little bit. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a relief. Um, it's it was excitement to have all of that happen, but yeah, it's nice. I, f- I feel more comfortable now now that that's done, and I feel that that I bowl better in the second innings. Last question, Mike. The wicket's uh, certainly showing signs that it could, you know, spin could play a big part. You you feeling you you excited by that prospect? And yeah, yep, definitely. It. Was there was a little bit of bounce in it today, um, and a little bit of grip on the other occasion, and um, Swanee's getting it to grip a little bit more as well. So, and hope it's quite a dry wicket, so it should um, wear up a little bit. So that'll be nice to bowl into some foot marks. And you've got a couple of brothers. What impact did they have? Oh, massive impact. Um, I put a lot of my cricket development down to playing with them in the front yard at home. Um, they're both good cricketers, um, they're 16 and 17 and um, you know we've, we've had fierce battles in the front yard and you know, bowling fast over a short pitch, if, if you couldn't, if you couldn't uh, bowl you wouldn't get a bat and if you couldn't bat you would bat for long. <laughs> so uh, we had to try and be as good as we can and you know they're great. They are here, yeah my whole family is here.